My name is Persephone, queen of the underworld, goddess of spring. You seem a little worried to me. Now, I've appeared to you because, as I do with all of my patrons and followers, if they seem to be in a an anxious mood or in a very concerning state, I want to be able to provide my comfort for them and be able to soothe them down to a very calm and relaxed state. So, before we begin, I'm going to be lighting some vanilla incense. I brought a packet here with me. Carved from the wood of a dryad's tree. I'm gonna just light this. As this incense continues, wafting the room with its scent, I want you to focus on the sounds around you. Whether that be the sound that I'm creating right now, the twittering of the birds outside, the little buzzing of the bees, the winged flaps of an insect, the occasional honking of a goose. I want you to just focus on these sounds and let them wrap you in the gossamer blanket of spring. Right now, I want you to use your eyes, don't move your head, use your eyes and only your eyes to trace my form. Just follow the edging lines of my form and keep your eyes coasting over it three times, slowly. I'll count down the amount of seconds that it should take you to do one lap. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now again. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and once more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Trace my facial features with your eyes. Look at my lips. And in five seconds, go from this corner, look all the way around, and then return to this corner. Five, four, three, two, one. Now look at my eyes. Trace whichever eye you want with your eyes. It should take you three seconds. Three, two, one. Excellent. Now, extend your index and thumb. I'm going to be using this little cotton swab to just trace over your thumb and index finger. And I want you to tell me 
how the cotton feels against your skin, whether I'm pressing hard, very delicately and gently, just sort of coasting over the skin. Now, give me your hand. How hard am I pressing against your skin? Now how quickly am I coasting the cute cotton over your skin? Close your eyes. Same questions. How hard am I pressing the cotton against your skin? Excellent. Now how quickly? And now, how quickly? Excellent. Now, calm you down further. Once again, your feelings are completely valid and you have reason to feel this way. We're working towards keeping you above water so that way you're not overwhelmed, but rather calm in the storm around you. Now, to further calm you down, to make you feel more solid and stable within this environment that you're placed in, I'm going to be doing the five, four, three, two, one method. We're going to be naming five things you can see, four things you can hear, three things you can touch, two things you can, five things you can see, four things you can hear, three things you can see, two things you can taste, and one motion you can feel. So, name five things you can see. Go. Name four things you can hear. Name three things you can smell. Smell is the one that I was forgetting. Three things you can smell. One, two, three. Name two things you can touch. One, two. Name one emotion you can feel. Now. Breathe in with me. Follow the pace of my breath. And we'll share the airflow between us. To sort of give your heart and to give your lungs the notice that there is no reason to be feeling like you're a cornered animal. We can relax right now. We can calm down from the storm you just exited and feel stable and feel solid. So, breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Again, breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Breathe in, hold, breathe out, breathe in, hold, breathe out. Breathe in, hold, breathe out, breathe in, 
Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. You've been blessed by Persephone, but to further bless you, my child, I want you to tell me, as I put on my crown once again, what had you so agitated or concerned? Name it in one sentence. I see. So it was another person. Well, to give you an account of mine, that way you feel like you're in good company and there's a connection between the two of us. There was one person who completely changed my life and made me queen of the underworld. And that was his deadly mistake. So, no one is probably aware of this because, well, I run my business very well and I have taken over the underworld and have managed it highly efficiently where really there is no reason for anyone to find out but if they were to find out it is of no consequence to me because frankly I rule the dead and the spring and agriculture via my mother so the way I handled this person that completely changed my life was that I cut him into little smithereens and fed him to our dog, our three-headed canine. Little tiny little smithereens just plopped him before the head of the beast. So, if you wish, I will more than happily oblige to relieve you of this person. Now tell me in one sentence, what did this person do to cause you such disconcerting feelings? I see. Well, you could always take this little tiny dagger and sever any limb or member that you wish. And while you take that little dagger, I will be finishing the job off with a splendid, splendid array of ripped limbs. So, why don't you say that you and I, you and your goddess, go off and have a little bit of fun? <laughs>